Hello everyone, I'm Vivek Agarwal. I'm a Chartered Accountant, the company's secretary and LLB. And in this video, we will be discussing a recent update in GST with respect to the GSTR 9 annual return. One of the major concerns for the financial year 1718 annual return was that the table number 8 mismatch. We all know that in table number 8, specifically table number 8A, the data is auto populated from GSTR 2A. But when, when we compared the data which is getting reflected in table number 8A with the data which is auto populated in 2A, there was a mismatch. The issue was when table number 8A extracts the data from 2A, why should there be a mismatch between the portal 2A data and the table number 8A data? So this had created a lot of confusion for the financial year 1718. So to solve this issue, the government has planned to provide the table number 8A data in a more detailed manner. So that the government will be providing us the total amounts along with the detailed workings of table number 8A so that the taxpayers can cross check and understand why is there a difference between 8A and 2A and reconcile that ITC with their books of accounts in a better manner. Now the question arises whether this will be implemented for the financial year 1819 return or 1920 returns. However, this is expected to be released by 27th July 2020. So normally what is about what is about table number 8A is that if the suppliers, if your suppliers upload the data, that is your purchases or with respect to the supplier's point of view, we can say the sales data. So if your suppliers have uploaded the sales data in the GSTR one for the financial year 1819 by 1st or 31st October 2019, that data will reflect in table number 8A of GSTR 9. If the suppliers have uploaded the data after 31st October 2019, then that data will appear in 2A, but the data won't appear in table number 8A. I repeat, for the financial year 1819, for the financial year 1819, the data which your suppliers have uploaded till 31st October 2019 will be auto populated in GSTR 2A as well as table number 8A. The data which is uploaded by your suppliers after 31st October 2019 will get auto populated in 2A but won't reflect in table number 8A of GSTR 9 for the financial year 1819. So this is one of the major reasons for mismatch between the GSTR 2A data and the table number 8A data. However, if this detailed working of table number 8A is provided, it is expected that the major issues of ITC reconciliation of table number 8 will be resolved. And we hope that it is implemented for the financial year 1819 itself. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and relatives. And if you have any comments or doubts, you can mention in the comment section below. And uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel, do click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Thank you for watching.